Wondering which are the top most modernized helicopters in the world? In this video, we're going to answer just that. We've come up with a list of most advanced helicopters after taking into consideration their avionics, agility, speed, firepower capabilities, and much more. So without further ado, let's get started. 1. Boeing AH-64E Apache Guardian the AH-64E is an upgraded version of the original AH-64A, which was developed for the US Army, to replace the AH-1 Cobra. It has several improvements and upgrades including more powerful engines, upgraded transmission, and more. The Apache has seen many combats and has become a synonym for attack helicopters over the years. The Apache Guardian is fitted with a mast-mounted antenna with an updated longbow and fire control radar. It can fire Hellfire 2 anti-tank guided missiles in fire and forget mode. For self-defense against hostile helicopters, the Apache Guardian can carry up to two AIM-9 Sidewander, four AIM-92 Stinger, or four Mistral air-to-air -air missiles. It can also carry two AGM-122 Sidearm air-to-ground anti-radiation missiles that can target hostile radars. It is fitted with more powerful General Electric T700GE701D engines, developing 1,994 shaft HP instead of the 1,800 shaft HP on the previous versions. Also, it has upgraded transmission to coupe with extra power. The AH-64E has new composite rotor blades designed to withstand hits from 23mm anti-aircraft guns. The maximum speed of this helicopter is up to 300 km per hour. This gunship comes with new sensors, avionics, and has improved night operation capabilities. This attack helicopter is operated by a crew of two, including a pilot and a gunner. The Boeing AH-64E Apache Guardian is a fast, reliable, and heavily armored helicopter with a wide range of offensive options. 2. Bell AH-1Z Viper Capable, flexible, multi-mission, the Bell AH-1Z is the ultimate in attack helicopters. It is a twin-engine attack helicopter developed for the USMC as an evolution of the AH-1 Super Cobra. The Viper features a four-blade, bearingless, composite main rotor system, upgraded transmission, and a new target sighting system. The AH-1Z is powered by 2X General Electric T700GE401C turbo shafts, which can provide a 1,800 shaft HP, 1,340 kilowatt power each. The AH-1Z is equipped with the famous 20mm M1973 barreled Gatling cannon in the AA-49E7 turret with 750 round ammo capacity as well as a maximum of two AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, a maximum of 12 AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-ground missiles, and Hydra-70 rockets. The AH-1Z Viper airframe design is based on the AH-1W Super Cobra. Improvements in flight characteristics provided by the four-blade configuration have caused an increase in flight envelopes, maximum speed, vertical ascent rate, payload, and rotor vibration level. It is also called Zulu Cobra, referencing its variants. For a heavily upgraded version, the Viper still has a big bite. Three. Kamov KA-52 Alligator Capable of operating at high altitude and speed, the two-seater KA-52 is considered as the best attack helicopter in the world from the usual winner, the Apache, by many analysts. The Alligator's anti-ship missiles have a better range than the Apache, and the helicopter boasts similar armor and air-to-air -air capability. Developed on the platform of the already effective KA-50 Black Shark, of which the Alligator is, in effect, a two-seater variant, the KA-52 represents an evolution, especially from a technological point of view. The KA-52 is a twin-engine helicopter with coaxial rotors, a trademark design by Kamov. It features the Arbalet radar system. It has a glass cockpit equipped with the latest avionics and can reach a top speed of 161 knots with a range of 285 miles. 
The mainstay of the ground attack capabilities of the KA-52 is the automatic Shipunov 2A-42 30mm cannon and a mix of 9K-121 Vickr anti-tank missiles and KH-25 semi-active laser-guided tactical air-to-ground missiles. Air-to-air -air combat is not just an option for the KA-52. The Alligator is equipped with Vimpol R-73 air-to-air -air missiles with a range of 19 miles. 4. Mi-28N Havoc The Mil-Mi-28, which has the NATO reporting name of Havoc, was a product of the Cold War, designed as an anti-tank attack platform similar in scope and function to the American Hughes AH-64 Apache series. It is one of the two standardized attack helicopters fielded by Russian forces, the other being the KA-52 Alligator. It carries anti-tank missiles that can pierce a meter of armor. It also has pods for 80mm unguided rockets, 5 122mm rockets grenade launchers, 23mm guns, 12.7mm or 7.62mm machine guns or bombs. It also has a 30mm cannon mounted under its nose. It is an all-weather, day-night, military tandem, two-seat anti-armor attack helicopter. It has no intended secondary transport capability, better optimized than the Mil Mi-24 for the role. It has external loads carried on pylons beneath stub wings. Today, the helicopter is fielded by only two other powers beyond Russia, these being Algeria and the rebuilding Iraqi army. As such, only 126 of the type have been completed, but the design stands as one of the most fearsome armor-defeating platforms in service, capable of tackling all known armor protection types. 5. Airbus Helicopters EC-665 Tiger The Tiger is the best-selling European attack helicopter. Called Tiger by the Germans, it is also known as the Tigre in France and Spain. Since 2003, the armies of these three European countries use the EC-665 Tiger, the twin-engine attack helicopter created in 1989 by Eurocopter which is now Airbus Helicopters. It is powered by a pair of MTR-390 turboshafts manufactured by a Rolls-Royce Turbomeca MTU joint venture. The Tiger's maximum speed is set at 157 knots. The helicopter is equipped with a 30mm Giat, 30M781 automatic cannon and can load up to 8 AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missiles and 4 Stinger air-to-air -air missiles. Unlike the choices made by the competitors, the Eurocopter engineers opted for an alternate configuration of the board seats, which are placed in a tandem configuration. The pilot is in the front seat while the gunner seats rear. This is a deadly effective feature. Both crew members can manage the helicopter controls and weapons, swapping roles when needed. The Tiger is designed to perform armed reconnaissance, air or ground escort, air-to-air -air combat, ground firing support, destruction, and anti-tank warfare, day or night, and in adverse conditions. 6. AH-2 Royvalk the Danel Roy Valk is an attack helicopter manufactured by Danel of South Africa. Roy Valk is Afrikaans for Red Kestrel. The South African Air Forces operate only 12 Danel AH-2 Roy Valk attack helicopters. Although it looks like an entirely new machine, the Roy Valk is based on a degree of reverse engineering of the Aerospitali Puma using the same engines and main rotor. It uses a stealthy design, electronic countermeasures, and armor to survive threats on the battlefield. While it's there, it fires a 20mm cannon, TOW or ZT-6 Mokopa anti-tank missiles, or rockets at its enemies. There are plans for it to gain an air-to-air -air capability. The Roy Valk is equipped with an electronic sweep that allows the helicopter to operate day and night and in all weather conditions, consisting of a multi-sensor turret in the nose of the helicopter called TDATS. This system includes a FLIR, forward-looking infrared, or infrared vision display, a TV viewer for images in low light, and a target designator, laser rangefinder for guided weapons. It has a full avionics suite to a GPS. The cockpit of the Roy Valk is configured with color multifunction displays, following the trend in this type of aircraft. The work crew is greatly facilitated by automation systems and the presentation of the tactical situation on the monitors. 
7. T129. The TAI Augusta Westland T129 attack is a derivative version of the A129, and its development is the responsibility of Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, with Augusta Westland as the primary partner. The TAI Augusta Westland T129 attack is a twin engine, tandem seat, multi role, all weather attack helicopter based on the Augusta A129 Mangusta platform. The helicopter is designed for advanced attack and reconnaissance missions in hot and high environments and rough geography in both day and night conditions. The T129 carries robust UNTAS anti tank missiles, rockets, and Stinger missiles. Its cannon is relatively small at 20 mm, but it can zip around the battlefield at 150 knots, rivaling the newest Apaches. The T129 features an aluminum alloy frame fitted to a 5-bladed main rotor, a 2-bladed tail rotor, and wheeled landing gear. Stealth features and significant weapon systems allow the T129 to operate in complex battlefield environments and confined areas. Ballistic tolerance has been increased for high survivability. The helicopter is equipped with a laser rangefinder designator, night vision helmet mounted display system, and an emergency locator transmitter ELT. 8. Augusta Westland A129 Mangusta The Augusta Westland A129 Mangusta is the first attack helicopter entirely designed and manufactured in Europe. Its origins date back to the 70s when the Italian army advanced the requirements for a helicopter with scouts and anti-tank capabilities. It has undergone several combat deployments since entering service with the Italian army in the 1990s. The A129, now updated to the latest version, the A129 CBT, can be used in anti-tank warfare, armed reconnaissance, ground attack, and close aerial support. For ground attack missions, the Mongoose, which in Italian is known as Mangusta, features several weapons, including up to 8 Hellfire missiles. The A129 can also be equipped with 81mm or 70mm unguided rockets, while the main armament counts on the M197 front cannon installed on an Oto Milara TM197B turret. A derivative of the A129, the TAI Augusta Westland T129 attack is being developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, who shall produce the T129 for the Turkish Army and potentially other export customers. Augusta Westland is serving as the primary partner on the T129. The A129 has continued to be developed by Augusta Westland, the successor company to Augusta. 9. Mi-24 Hind The Mil Mi-24 is a large gunship and attack helicopter with low-capacity troop transport with room for 8 passengers. The Mi-24 is the first helicopter to enter service with the Russian Air Force as an assault transport and gunship. The Mi-24 is a close counterpart to the American AH-64 Apache, but unlike this and other Western assault helicopters, it is also capable of transporting up to 8 troops. It carries understrength anti-tank missiles by modern standards, but it's great against infantry. Multiple machine guns up to 30mm chew up enemy troops while thick armor grants near immunity from ground fire up to 50 cal. Power for the Mi-24 is delivered through a pairing of 2X Isotov TV3117 series turbine engines, each delivering up to 2,200 horsepower. This provides the strut mount with a top speed of 208 miles per hour and an operational range nearing 280 miles. The maximum listed service ceiling for the aircraft is 14,750 feet, consistent with other helicopters in this class. The large helicopter has remained an active part of joint operations in the region since Russian involvement began and marks a highly updated, advanced version of the original Cold War warrior. 10. Z-10 Z-10 is a Chinese medium attack helicopter developed for the People's Liberation Army Ground Force with close ties to the United Technology Corporation of Hartford, Connecticut. The Z-10 is designed primarily for anti-tank warfare missions but has secondary air-to-air -air combat capability as well. Weapons of the Z-10 may consist of 30mm cannon, HJ-9 anti-tank guided missiles comparable to the TOW-2A, 
newly developed HJ-10 anti-tank missiles comparable to the AGM-114 Hellfire and TY-90 air-to-air missiles. It can also carry unoperated rocket pods. It has a standard gunship configuration with a narrow fuselage and stepped tandem cockpits. Gunner is seated at the front and the pilot is at the rear. The Electronic Warfare EW system of Z-10 is the first Chinese EW system that integrates the radar, radar warning receivers, RWR, laser warning receivers, LWR, electronic support measures ESM, and electronic countermeasures ECM together. YH-96 is claimed to have a high interception rate of hostile signals, and in the fully automatic mode, it can automatically analyze the threat and launch different decoys and jamming signals accordingly. The helicopter also has an infrared jammer. The Z-10 was originally considered a triumph of the Chinese defense industry and is in service with the Chinese army since 2008. That's all we have for now, folks. Let us know in the comments below which one of these you think is the most advanced helicopter in the world. If you want to see more cool videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications so that you stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching.